Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Musa alayhi salam, Ya Musa, there are two people in your community. Go to them and tell them that their book of deeds is wiped clean. Their book of deeds are wiped clean. First start for both of them. First start for both of them. And Musa alayhi salam, the, the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was telling Musa alayhi salam to go to, it was two individuals. One of them, again, was one of the best of the community. An abid, a worshipper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second person was someone who was a sinner, a known sinner. And Musa alayhi salam was informed to go to these two people and to tell them that their book of deeds is clean <clears throat> and it's, they have a fresh start. So Musa alayhi salam goes to the sinner and he gives him this news that your book of deeds is now wiped clean. You have a fresh start. And the sinner was very happy. And so Musa alayhi salam asked the sinner, what is going on here? Did something unique happen today that is making Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell you this, tell, is making Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have me tell you this news? What is unique that happened today? And the sinner said, you know, I saw the other individual that you give the, gave this news to. I saw him on the street. And he, he's a worshiper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm a sinner. And I said, you know what? Let me go to this man and just be in his company. Let me just go greet him, be in his company. Maybe some of his good state will transfer over to me. Al-halu yasri. It's a concept in our deen that the state of someone transfers to you when you're in their presence. It's a Western concept as well, that you are the sum of the five people you keep company with. It's this concept. So he wanted to be around this person so that maybe some of his good habits would come on to him. So he approached this good person, the sinner approached the good person, wanting to be in his company, not doing anything, not uh, telling the, 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 the good person to come to sin, uh, trying to sell him alcohol or something. No, just wanting to be in his presence. And the good worshiper said to this man, get away from me. I don't want to be seen with you. Go somewhere else. Bother someone else. Don't engage with me. And because this happened, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set both of these people's deeds fresh start. Fresh start. The worshipper is a representative of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this earth and he broke another human being's heart. And because he did this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed Musa alayhi salam to set both of their deeds clean. This is very good news for the sinner, but it's not so great news for the worshipper. He has accum accumulated all of these great deeds and now he has to start fresh. Alhamdulillah, the story has a beautiful ending in that both of these people became good companions and became good friends. With this new fresh start, they engaged and embarked on this journey of getting close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together. And they were always seen together worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, it's a beautiful ending. And the second abid, in the second story, Kibr, get away from me. I don't want to be around you. I'm better. I don't want to be seen with you. It's this disease of arrogance in both of these people, although they were good and amazing and worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they had this disease of kibr in their hearts. And it's a very dangerous disease.